Today's the day, are you coming? Are you I'm sick of being normal, I'm sick of being average I'm sick of being mortal, I'm about to be a savage I see a lot of things that I want, I will have them I got a new mindset that I just established on my... Okay, you beautiful passengers, welcome back to the back of the semi truck, and it's that time once again. I'm finally getting back around to another set of episodes to My Little Pony, Tell Your Tale, and these episodes are episodes 51, 52, 53, and 54, I think. I'm not 100% sure, and I know I say this all the time, but... I do get self-conscious about vehicles outside wherever I'm parked and I just had one pass by me so I'm kind of like you know what hey you hear it you hear it you don't you don't hopefully you don't but if you do I apologize we are in the back of a semi truck I know I say that all the time but you know it happens noise will creep in but I think we are on I think I'm not a hundred percent sure I think it's season one because they do got two seasons of this season one episodes 51 through 54 I believe not a hundred percent sure there was one thumbnail that I was very interested in hopefully I've got enough you know you know I don't know the right word I'm gonna just say fortitude uh, I, no that's not the right word but hopefully I've got enough sense to remember to actually put the thumbnail up that I saw. But I saw a thumbnail and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to watch that episode. It looks like it's going to be fun. And it's actually the third one of these, which would be 53, 54, ah heck, I don't even know. I'm going to stop even trying to figure out which episodes I'm on. Because until I actually look at whichever ones I just got done watching which dang I really need to just do like a binge watch of these but as of recording this I know I'm not going to be able to binge watch anything because <sighs> I love the series but Invincible season two part two just dropped so i know next week that's something i will be focusing on maybe i'll just do one episode a week of that i don't fully know what i'll do yet so we'll find out when we get there so i'm gonna shut up though and we're gonna hit this play button in three two one and play there we go oh y'all gonna be a little thieves i know that's not what they're doing but still what are y'all actually going for some pony sees up. Just a little more, a little. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I know those alarms had to go off now. Happy Mayor's Day. Happy Mayor's Day, huh? Huh. I can't believe you made it. Is that like their version of Mother's Day? I, uh, well, I sort of I don't made think it would plans, be. Of course we made it, and we know. have a whole day planned. Oh, that's lovely. But first, spa treatments to make us look picture perfect for our glam fam photo shoots. Huh. Ooh, sounds lovely, but I should tell you then. I feel like I've seen this episode. The wind in our wings and fly off to our because spot for all sunset. she's wanting to do is oh, be by herself. Guys. Sounds wonderful, but as I said, and do her I own thing. I made other plans. Okay, never mind. I haven't seen this one. I'd seen the thumbnail. I remember that. I'm not interrupting, am I? Oh, no, no. She My has a date. Me for day. Yep, big day. But I do well, remember an episode where she was just trying to kind of chill, Perhaps and they just kept doing things. I, it might have been different ponies, but you know, whatever. What a wonderful uh -huh. idea. Yes. Yeah, yes. you know that look. Your mom's like, you know, y'all better hush it up. Because y'all don't know it, but this is going to be your dad. It's pretty much what she's saying. You know, we don't have any backstory on their dad. That's interesting. Oh, you're allergic to it. Oh, a 
it's not that he's allergic to it. It just says that no unicorns should use it. Um. You know, those two are adorable together. Oh, that's a good family photo. Come on. Oh, well, them two are enjoying themselves at least. <laughs> oh, well, he is a unicorn. He can't fly, so I mean, come on. Oh, oh my feet! Are you okay? Yep. And why the whole day's been a disaster. Good. No, he's not. No, no, they're right. Sorry for messing Dude. up your day, girls. I think it's best I leave you pulling. You're to too you good for them girls, family. man. Not too good for, you know, the queen. Both. But too all good for those girls. And, joining and make us all happy. But he yeah. wanted to give you the most perfect marriage day. And he ruined everything. I don't yeah, know if y'all would have just... Let her have her plans. To make a day special is to spend it with their favorite. Then it would have been good. It doesn't matter what we do or how right or wrong it goes. Yeah, think about it. Oh, here's the uh, time to apologize. Is so slow. Hey, uh, Alphabet all. We're really sorry. There you we go. We were just trying to make Mare's yeah. day perfect. But Mom's day can only be perfect if you're there too. We're really happy our mom has a new friend. And <laughs> we do too. I guess that's one way to say it. New friend. You're interested. Heart to hoof, yeah. Wow, he has got a flipping gigantic hoof compared to theirs. <laughs> yeah, when y'all slow down to actually enjoy yourselves, you can actually enjoy it, huh? See, that is a good family photo. Next episode, by the way. Does it seem like nothing is going right? Oh, you glued yourself to it, is he? charge for this one. <laughs> Don't you wish you could just okay. get away and take a break from it all? Well, all the time. I wish I could take a break. Than you think. Isn't that right, Dazzle? It certainly is, Sky. Here at Pony Traffico, there is something for every pony. As you can see, Pony Traffico has it all. Whether you're looking for adventure <laughs> or to find your inner creative. To be pampered in luxury. Or to just get some much needed rest and relaxation while you enjoy Enjoy gourmet meals. So what are you waiting for? Book your vacation to Pony Tropico today. Alright, oh. it's the game. Oh. Okay. So we're going on vacation. Uh, Pony Tropico, I could sure use a relaxing trip like that. <laughs> what about Sparky? And did you see those ponies on water skis? I'd love to try that. Well, I sure am glad you ponies think it looks fun. Because... Everybody's happy! Oh, okay. Pony I thought at first what she was going to do is say, Hey, guess what? We're going to go and create the place here. That's what I thought she was going to do. Why'd you lock it? I thought this was like... You know, the best place in art to live. <laughs> live. Stay Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that runt unicorn was talking. So when the ponies aren't around, they're able to just talk? Whatever. Yeah. Are you sure? Where are you going, Zip? Sorry, ponies. I've 
got everything under control. I'm sure it's Yeah, until you get struck by a lightning. Rain. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. It took me a little while, but I got it. Hey, you got that mud face, huh? I packed a map that will show us exactly how to get. Sparky's got to eat. Not only are we going to miss the ferry to Pony Tropico, now we are lost too. Oh, could this day get any worse? Don't ask that. Hey, at least you're gonna get the mud off of you. Oh, okay, look, if Sparky can have a good time, <laughs> there you go. Although that is a lot of rain, y'all need to get out of there, yeah. Good job, y'all got out somehow. And of course, everything's okay. If we hurry, we might still be able to catch the last fairy to Pony Tropico. There it goes. Well, you might as well just go back home. There's always next year ponies. Anyway, we don't need Pony Tropico to have fun, right? Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this, but who needs a luxury spa? Or a pony paragliding? Or a restful day at the beach? Or a beautiful seashell mosaic? All we really need for an amazing holiday is... Each other! You ponies thinking what I'm thinking? I don't mind the work, cause I get to work with you. Oh gosh! <laughs> They literally just went back to the little mud pit that they landed in. <laughs> okay, whatever. Good and fun ending. Okay, so this is the third one, so I was really interested in it. By the thumbnail. <laughs> Misty! Okay, they're gonna get suspicious of you hiding in bushes all the time. <laughs> Misty, where are you? I got... What? Why would you do that, Opaline? You've got to start thinking. I love the cartoon version of Opaline. She is, well, I say cartoon as if the whole thing isn't a cartoon, but the cartoon version of her is stupid for stupid sake. And I like that sometimes. Lately, she's been acting weird. I've got to keep in mind that I've already seen the whole series proper. That was <laughs> pretty funny, huh? <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> yes. Ah ha ha. Zip's right. Why don't you just take it off for a little bit? No, I, I can't take it off. It's it's really special to me. Now, if you don't mind, I've got errands to run. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna now follow her, ain't you? <gasps> that was too close. Ooh, shadow berries. They're Opaline's favorite. Are they? Don't move. And you now off, you're a little thief and she stole it. Me for at least five minutes when she sees these. <laughs> I'm telling you, something's not right with this thing. On the one half, it has all the signs of something evil. But on the <laughs> other, it's super shiny. <laughs> oh! Hey, I'm Izzy. Here's a stupid poem. Earth pony smell and 
Okay. They all take baths in the kitchen sink. Also, crafting's totally lame. So, this is one of the things that I feel like turns you into the opposite of who you truly are. I seen a thumbnail with somebody. And it's like it was pretty awesome. I know that made no sense, by the way. Oh no! Do more lettering. Yes. Oh, yes. I like this version of Hutch. Ah! I think this is the thumbnail. That, there's the thumbnail I saw. Okay, now they're just right, trying to recreate the Mohawk rarity. <laughs> what just happened to me? Uh, it can't have just disappeared. Oh, Opaline's gonna be so mad. Oh no. Yeah. The Zephyr Heights throne. Bow down before me. See, that's something we missed story wise. Is Zip is heir to Zephyr Heights, but she doesn't want to be the heir, really. She just wants to be who she is. That's a good missed storyline that we didn't delve into. I hate that. I do not feel like myself. Yeah, I don't feel like myself either. Come on, follow me. You were right, Zip. This necklace is bad news. Really? <gasps> oh, there was a lot of evil in that necklace. So, wow. How do you feel? I feel good. Lighter? Happier? More like me. That's amazing, Misty. Huh. So, really, who gave you the necklace? Was it an heirloom, a birthday present? Did you find it in Bridalwood? Trust me, you do not want to know. Come yeah, on, yeah, but she something. does want to know. It's definitely not Pegasus jewelry. Critter jewelry? You couldn't make jewelry? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're gonna pick it up. Go ahead. I think I might like that one the best. Okay, now we get. Oh. So this is where we're at in the story. You couldn't handle so much power anyway. I, on the other hand, know exactly what to do. It's finally time for me to take my rightful place as the most powerful fire alicorn of all time! You would oh. how many times have I told you? But wait, he's your little buddy! I mean, come on! <laughs> no pony can stop me now! <laughs> <laughs> and there's Pip. <laughs> Oi, a raccoonicorn? That can't be right, Pip. Do you ponies remember a raccoonicorn? Uh, don't remember that at all. Oh, Zip, uh, you're interrupting my story. I'm just getting to the good part. Are you? And then, Misty raced across all of Equestria to find her friends and give them the horrible, dreadful news. Quick, ponies, I saw some ponies dragon nap Sparky. What? Dragon napped? What are you saying? Where did they go? Well, be happening? Did you say yeah, what she did happening? do that in the I did, series but proper. Had to hurry. But could Misty save the day and get the ponies to Sparky before it was too late? I don't know about saving the day, Pip. I mean, I was the reason that Sparky got dragon napped in the Yeah, I was about to say, How is... All that time? Don't worry, Mr. Yeah, okay, so this is after? The right thing when it counted the most. You chose... Oh, hold on. Betraying Opaline to help us was totally what? great. And you got yourself a real cutie mark to replace the one you always drew on. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's a flashback sort of situation. Whatever. Yeah, and then Sunny, she was all like, pew, 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 p
were amazing, Sunny. You were just as strong as the uh, ponies. Can I please just tell my other She was about to say Oprah Lane. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Or maybe she was going to say Twilight. She's not as powerful as Twilight, though. Look down at the villainous Opaline. So you're the evil alicorn we were warned about. Well, not exactly. Thanks to your little dragon baby and all his dragon fire, I'm not just an evil alicorn. I'm a fire alicorn! <laughs> I feel like if you're only on YouTube and you're watching only this series and not the actual main series, this episode would just confuse the mess out of you out of nowhere. Listen up. So pathetic. No pony could ever stop. Hey! Do not stop! And I was all for you, too. Take that! Bam! Wait, no you weren't. Wait, you're at Main Melody? Those are supposed to be for Main Melody customers. Ah! And also, you absolutely did not buy your donut that Opaline is. I didn't? Hmm. Oh, yeah, maybe I didn't. You're just such a good storyteller, Pip. I got all caught up in the moment. Okay, keep going, keep going. <clears throat> Sunny and Opaline were locked in an epic battle. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling this last episode. And I'm halfway just sitting here waiting it out. Because I'm just, I don't care about the recap, honestly. Let's get out of here. The recap is a little like, what's the point? Pip, maybe that's enough of the scary stories for today. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Sparky. I didn't mean to scare but you. But Sparky was still, still feeling a little, you, you little know, weak from all of honey. that. Sunny took care of that evil pony, Opaline. She won't be bothering us anymore. Right? <laughs> oh, her? Yeah. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> what? What? Why would Sunny act like that I get that. So good on you. Uh, I'll say it in a second. <laughs> Whatever. Ponies don't stand a chance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As I was saying there at the end, I'm like, Sunny wouldn't act like that and just kind of shrug it off, like, oh yeah, nothing to worry about there. She she would actually tell the truth and be like. Oh, um, if I'm being honest, I don't know. We were in such a hurry to get out of there and, you know, save Sparky that I left her in the bubble and I don't know if she, you know, got out or what. <sighs> Plus, on top of that, there was more to it than just them running away with Sparky and all that stuff. Okay, so slight jump cut there because I, for some weird reason, had to get out a big yawn that hopefully I remembered to edit out of this. But nonetheless, nonetheless, yeah, they were in such a hurry to get out. I don't think Sonny would have acted like that at the end, kind of just being like a little offish, like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Yeah, that, that was just stupid in my opinion, but... It is targeted towards other people, not my demographic necessarily, but at the same time, let's be real. It is targeted towards people like me and other bronies that are my age or other bronies that are even your age. But let's be real. This is targeted towards us to a certain degree. They are giving us fan service whenever they give us little hints of Twilight here and there. They're giving us fan service when we got, you know, Celestia and Luna in an episode from the main series of, you know, My Little Pony. Um, so, yeah, this is made for a lot of us bronies out there. And, yes, I will admit, I'm a brony. I have, well, why else would I be watching this if I wasn't? So, yeah, I mean, overall, I do think that the third episode that we watched with this was probably the best one. 
Okay, so another jump cut there. I don't know what is making me want to yawn all of a sudden. I enjoyed all these episodes for the most part. I mean, they weren't boring or nothing. Maybe I've just had that long of a day and I'm just like tired or something. I have no idea. But, yeah, I enjoyed all the episodes for the most part. I even enjoyed the last one. Granted, not as much as, you know, the first three, but goodness gracious. I don't know why I'm so tired and yawning so much right now. Third jump cut, but either way, yes, these episodes were fun. The first one, I kind of feel like it is good to have that one there for people who are, you know, who are going through seeing their parents, you know, start dating somebody new and this and that, and then, you know, if you're going to have a good cordial relationship with your parent, you're also going to have to have a relationship with who she's seeing as well. So that's a good lesson in there as well. Affabiddle, there was nothing wrong with what he was doing at all. He was just trying to join in on the fun of Mayor Day or whatever the flip that was called. I guess it was like a Mother's Day type thing for them. I know they had one before as well. That's what threw me off, I think, at the beginning. Um, although, like I said, I liked the episode. It was a good lesson for anybody and everybody. It doesn't matter your age. If your parent is going to start seeing somebody new in a friendship, then you're going to have to get along with the other person as well. Now, yes, if the other person's toxic, I mean literally toxic, not just a personality trait you don't like, but actually toxic, yeah, you might have to kind of put a foot down, but that's besides the point. That's a whole different can of worms. Um, Second episode, mm, fun for the most part. And when I say first, second, and third, I mean the ones we just watched. I don't even know why I explained that. Y'all y'all know. Um, but yeah, second ha second episode we watched just then. It was fun, but at the same time, it was like, come on. Y'all could have... I feel like they should have... I don't know how I feel about that one. I feel like maybe Sonny or Izzy should have tried to cre recreate the spa experience at their home, you know, at the lighthouse, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad they didn't. That might have been a little too predictable as to what might have happened. So I guess for the most part, it ended the best way it could have. Then the third episode, oh my gosh, that was the best one out of this bunch of episodes. I liked it the most. I liked the thumbnail that I saw the most. Hopefully I remember to get that thumbnail. But with that one, it kind of makes me question, did that actually happen in the series? Did we just all of a sudden one day not have the necklace? Or did we ever have the necklace? I, I can't even remember anymore. That's how much the series kind of just mushes together and has, you know, not too good of a cohesive story. Yeah, they did have the necklace in that one because I remember, no, wait, maybe that sunny episode where she put the necklace... Oh no! You know what? I have no idea. Cause now I think it was a compact that Izzy, not Izzy, a compact that Misty was using instead. And then Sonny got a hold of the compact and started looking into it. And you know, Opaline was kind of talking to her that way. Huh? I don't know. Either way, though. I feel like it was a good episode, and it really brought home the point for me where it was like, oh, wait a second. Zip is the heir to Zephyr Heights, and she really doesn't want it. We didn't really get that storyline that much, though. We got a little bit tidbit, but we never actually tackled it, and that was a good storyline that could have been delved into and really explored, and then we could have had, and Pip on that, on top of that, Pip is really coming into her own, you know, being, you know, she's pretty much our rarity of this generation, and she's being the business mogul with um, What's-Her-Face and the running main melody, and, you know, she's showing herself that she can run things, and Zip doesn't really want to do, you know, be the queen one day. She just wants to be who she is and enjoy life that way. But Pip, on the other hand, I, see... 
I said the same thing in the episode where they actually had the sisterly episode. Uh, I think Pip could have, they could have made her where she, her character grows so much where she actually ends up being responsible enough to become the queen and Zip just kind of chills back to the side, you know. But that's just me. Either way, though, now that I'm done yawning, I don't know what the flip is wrong with me tonight, but, you know, maybe it's just one of them days I had a rough day or something. I don't know. Didn't feel too rough, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Hopefully I remember to edit those out. And as far as that fourth episode, it was a recap episode. Who really cares? So, you know, hey, it is what it is. Y'all know the drill by now, though. Hit the like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says, And I like you as you are. I did.